Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a haul and a review and swatches of Glossier products and I have the entire phase two collection and then some items from phase one as well. So if you want to see swatches and review of all of my Glossier products then just keep watching. Okay, so the first product I have here is the Glossier Boy Brow and I have mine in brown. So this is what it looks like and it's a brow gel. It's not a normal brow gel though. So this kind of reminds me of the Benefit Give Me Brow because it actually has a lot of little fibers in it and you can kind of see that. And if I swatch it for you, I'll swatch it right here. You can see that it's dark brown but, there we go. It's dark brown but it's also not that dark and it's pretty cool tone as well. So I had to pick between this and the black because I have dark hair, but I recently got my hair lightened and because of that I decided to go with the brown because I've noticed that really dark um, brow gels like the one from Anastasia make your brows look really stark and drawn in. So if you have black hair, I still suggest that you go for a brown brow gel. That being said, I love this because it makes all of my eyebrow hairs really thick and you can see them all individually. Like, I, can you tell I'm wearing it right now? You can see every hair individually and every hair looks thicker so that even if you don't have brows, because honestly, I have zero <laughs> brows. Um, you can see that from my recent eyebrow tutorial. Go and check that out if you haven't already. But I start out with very little brows and this plumps them up like no other. Like my brows gain weight from this stuff. So if you don't have a lot of hairs and you want to just thicken them up, even if you don't fill in your brows, you'll still see them better and it'll hold them in place as well. This lasts all day. This is definitely one of my favorite brow products ever. And they have three shades. They've got it in brown, black, and blonde. It is a little bit expensive. I believe it's almost $20, but you can get coupons from Glossier pretty easily online for 20% off. So there's that. Okay, the next three items I got from Phase 2 are the three Generation G Matte Sheer Lipsticks. And I have mine in Cake, which is the nude one, Like, which is, I would call it an MLBB, uh, My Lips by Better, and then Jam, which is like a jam kind of color after you've eaten jam. So let me go ahead and swatch these for you guys. Okay, so the first one we have here is Glossier Generation G in Cake. And as you can see, this is the nudie one. And what I like about this and what makes it really unique to me is the fact that it's really warm toned. So as you can see, it leans slightly warmish orange rather than nudes that lean gray or purple. And I like that because I have really warm skin tone. Also, it's super sheer but matte at the same time. I have no idea how they accomplished that, but I love, love, love the formula. Okay, this next pinky looking one is called Like, and it is a little bit more sheer than Cake. It's probably one of the most sheer ones. And as you can see, it's just a super natural mauve pink shade. So when I'm wearing this, it makes my looks my lips look like they're the same but better. So it's a my lips but better kind of shade. It's super gorgeous, it is super sheer, and because of that, it looks really natural. Another thing to note is that these lipsticks don't rub off, which is awesome. So because they're matte and sheer, they stay on forever, even if you're eating or drinking. So that is like right there. Okay, this last one is called Jam. And as you can see, Jam is kind of like a purpley shade. It makes it look like you just ate a bunch of fresh berries, which I think is really gorgeous. So again, it looks pretty natural, but it's a little bit more color than the other two. It's just a really fresh berry shade. So if you like that sheer berry look to your lips where it looks like you just ate a bunch of berries, then you're going to really like Jam. So yeah, these are the three new Generation G lipsticks from Glossier. If you guys want to see a more full comprehensive review or if you want me to try them on my lips, then just leave me a comment and I can do that. Okay, so the next product I got was actually from Glossier Phase 1 and it is called the Priming Moisturizer and it says it's a buildable hydrating cream. Um, and basically you're just supposed to put it on your skin and it's supposed to make the redness go away and prime your skin for uh, the perfecting skin tint that they have. And I've been using this and I actually really like it. It's super lightweight. 
It's got a bunch of really good oils in it. It's got fruit extracts like honeysuckle, flower extract, radish, um, honey extract, tea, shea butter, just a lot of really good ingredients in it. And because of that, I love using this before my foundation, especially because it's one of those moisturizers that doesn't make my foundation melt off, if that makes sense. So yeah, I really highly recommend this. I like this a lot. This is paired to go with the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint which I do have to warn you guys about. I got an email about this uh, two weeks ago and I got mine in the shade medium and they had mentioned that any of these in the shade light or medium in the past few months actually started to turn really dark brown, like dark colors. So they're gonna give us a refund, but if you're planning on getting light or medium in this, I definitely recommend you to be careful and check for color change. But yeah, this is a really light, it's not a foundation, it's not even a BB cream. I wouldn't even call it a concealer. It's such a light, runny consistency. Like I can put some on my hand there and you guys can see it. It's almost like water. And when I blend it out, oh my gosh, it's running over. <laughs> when I blend it out, it literally blends into nothing. So if you have freckles or if you have any sort of blemishes or scars at all, this is not going to cover it. But as you can see, if you already have nice skin, or if you use a concealer on top of it, it gives you a really beautiful natural glow. Can you see the sheen? Yeah, so all of these products are marketed towards like a really dewy look. Okay, last product I have here is the Glossier Stretch Concealer, and I got mine in the shade medium, um, because apparently a lot of the shade run really light, like, if you guys look at the dark, it's not dark at all, which is really weird. But I got it in shade medium, and it's definitely perfect for me. So just to give you a swatch of that, that's what it looks like on my finger. And then when I swatch it on my hand here, you can see when I blend it out, it just blends so easily into nothing. So this concealer is called the Stretch Concealer because it's not supposed to be stiff or dry. It doesn't crack off. It has a ton of oils in it. It's got pretty good coverage for the fact that it's a really thin natural concealer. You're not supposed to be able to tell that you're wearing concealer at all. But I have to warn you guys that if you have oily skin or if you have wrinkles underneath your eyes, like for me, if I don't set my under eye concealer, it's going to crease. This stuff creases even if I set it. So even if I set it, it already has so many natural oils and shea butter in here that it still creases and moves around throughout the day. So I, I mean, this is good for like a day when you're wearing really natural makeup. But again, if you have issues with creasing, stay away from this because even powdering is not gonna help that. I forgot to mention, when you actually make an order at Glossier, they give you a really cute box with a poster, and then they give you a sheet of really cute stickers to put on your makeup. So yeah, they definitely win in the packaging um, area. Okay, well I hope my review and swatches were helpful. I look like I've been in an art store and swatches all over me. But yeah, let me know what you think of Glossier products, if you've tried anything of theirs. Um, I personally really like the brand because they seem to really um, advocate for natural beauty and they always say skincare first, makeup second. Um, and I, I, I like that idea of taking care of your skin first and then putting on makeup after. So if you've tried anything from this line, let me know. Leave me a comment below, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.